Hi, welcome to Dice Control Dojo. I'm Phil and I practice every day and share my tips so we can all get better at the casino. Today we're talking about casino ready. We're, a, we're going to the casino in a few days and I'm trying to build consistency in this series of two weeks of before going to a casino. And I've practiced each part of the throw last week and I've practiced consistency and seeing if everything's going all right. We talked about not tweaking too much the last week. You want to just make sure you have muscle and mental memory on everything that you do. So to, today I want to talk about casino ready. What does that look like? Casino ready is I'm sitting in this beautiful, quiet environment. 4.35 in the morning, everything's quiet, I'm able to concentrate 100% on my throw and get it down consistent. Well, that doesn't do me very good if we go to a casino and you start with all the issues that are going on in a casino, what are the different factors? You've been at a casino, hopefully, and see that there's bright lights. There's alcohol, there's dealers, there's noise, there's other players. And we don't practice that enough. That's why I'm always suggesting you try some live practices at a casino routinely. So you're not sitting here getting going, I don't understand how I'm doing so bad at a casino, but at home I'm wonderful on my practice rig. Well, your practice rig is not the casino. And we have to get you a little bit more adapted. So with four or five days left or to, before you go to a casino or throughout your practices, you should always try and get into a distractive mode. And I really get nervous when I'm with my buddies and we're at Vegas and usually our Friday nights stink because we're just kind of loosening up and getting, you know, ready to go. Uh, we're also having some alcohol. So there's a lot of factors in there. So if you want to make money at a casino or do you want to have fun or both? Well, you got to kind of uh, adapt your throwing at home to get that point. And I've talked about it on past videos, but I just wanted to make it nice and concise. The first thing I do, and I try and do this every morning, is I use, I blast music in my ears. I got, I put this on so no one else can hear, and I got it on 10, and it's very loud and distracting. I put rock on, I get a lot of crazy music going, so that that's one thing to distract, because that's going to be kind of how the, the sessions are. Um, two, I have the TV on, and so there's lights going on, and I get a lot of things going like that, okay? You can't replicate dealers being here and that, but you can by if you put a chair here, maybe put some towels up, you know, try and understand you're going to have other people here. So, you know, I'll, I'll move some chairs in. You know, have it like this, try and get, put items around so it's a little distracting on throwing, right? Because you got this stick guy, and how many times have we seen the, the stick guy having his stick right here, right? And you're like, oh my God, you're kidding me, right? You're going you're gonna to put that stick right in, in my way. So, you know, putting this stick out, oh my God, I can't do it right now. But um, putting the stick right here, you see them. They do that all the time. That's, uh, and if you're at SL1 or SR1, that's going to be in your way. So you have to adapt to that, right? So you got chairs, you got distractions, and you have TV. I have the noise blasting. I'm trying to recreate as much as possible. Put as much light on as you can. Just kind of get things going. Uh, you could have a couple, not only you have TV up here, 
but maybe have a couple videos going on over here on your iPads and stuff. So there's multiple things going on. It's not just one thing you can concentrate on so that you're very distracted. Then also to tons of chips. You got to put tons of chips all over the place so you can recreate not this nice smooth surface, right? There's a lot of bedding going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. So you want to have lots of stuff in your way. Remember, what are you doing here has to reflect what you're doing at the casino. So the noise and distractions and the lights, everything going on. The second thing you need to practice is time. Okay. So we sit here and I can, I showed on yesterday's video, right? I just sat here and I threw 36 times right in a row. Boom, 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 boom. Well, of course, I'm going to have some fantastic numbers. I mean, yesterday I had, I threw a 12 SRR, which is, is great, but <laughs> that's in an, an environment where I'm doing this one, two, three, right? So you're, you're throwing it over and over and over again. That's not practical in a casino, right? We're going to have our bets going down. They're going to pass you the dice. You're going to throw it. The point is five. Five is the point. Okay. So now everybody's going to be putting their bets out. So what do you do at home? Well, make sure instead of you slating off one hour of practice, maybe instead of doing this whole one hour practice, practice just one hour of throwing, but make sure the 36 throws takes one hour to do it. So you may want to go to the bathroom. Maybe you get a cup of coffee. Maybe, maybe go do something for a minute or two. Or maybe just sit here on your phone and just, you know, play a video game or something. But take a few minutes for each throw. Then when you come back, you can come back to, all right, let's see what that throw is, all right? Make sure all your bets are down. You know what your future bet is going to be. Then you're going to throw again. It's a four. The throw is four. So now you need to distract again. Put your bets out. Collect your stuff. Give yourself a minute or so so that all the bets can come around and you can get everything the way you want it. So maybe not take a whole hour. But what I'm trying to say is between each throw, it should be a minute or so so that all the bets can go out, okay? It's not always boom, boom, boom. Now, the casinos want you throwing quickly, so they're going to try and get those dice back to you. But you know as well as I do, especially on longer throws, the more bets that are in the middle that are paying out, the, re the repeats, the all tall smalls, it's going to take a while to get these bets going. So just give yourself that game day practice so that you're understanding all with the distractions going on at the same time lastly i want to talk about dealers right so we know with uh with you practicing every day you know what what happens i have these dice exactly where i want them so that i can can set up and and throw correctly right and that's a nine. So the dealers, <clears throat> game day dealers, you have to make sure you take that into consideration too. That their goal is to try and get as many throws out as you can. You have to make sure you're throwing very quickly and you're, you're ready to go. You can move these dice to the right speed and you go and they're going to be distracting you. They don't like dice control. So they're going to be making sure you hit the back wall, sir. So you're going to be talking a lot to the dealers and getting out of sync. So you have to uh, think like that. What does that look like? It's hard to recreate that in this situation. But you, uh, Sundays when I play with the buddies, we always talk about what some of the d dealers do. We're talking back and forth. It kind of sets up that distraction 
that may help you. So maybe video with your buddies. If, if you're going to the casino with the buddies, I want you to, you know, make sure you guys are on the same page when you're talking. Uh, we're going to talk about that tomorrow, actually. The next video is uh, buddies. What does that look like? How do they help? How do they hurt? What is the game plan for that? So join me in tomorrow when we're talking about buddies. But with, with the buddies, you can also practice the distractions from the casino too. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. So as always, uh, trying to give you a little snippets for you to be able to get to the casino in two weeks rather than my 90-day video. Just get there in two weeks. Just kind of get your muscle memory down, get your consistency going so that you can at least have the edge against the casino. We don't talk about betting strategy, but I know that if you've done this for the last 10 days, I know that you're going to throw for a long, long time.